Choo Choo and Friends in Story Time. <laughs> Cusley was spending the day at Choo Choo and Cha Cha's house. He loved playing with their toys. I like your dinosaur, Cha-Cha. Your teddy bear is so cuddly, Choo-Choo. Can I play with them? Of course, Cusley. You can play with our toys for as long as you want. Cusley played and played. When it was time to go home and his parents came to pick him up, Cusley refused to give Choo Choo and Cha Cha's toys back. He was being very greedy. Mommy, Daddy, I want Cha Cha's dinosaur and Choo Choo's teddy bear. I want to take them home. Cusley's parents told Cusley to give the toys back. Cusley? Those toys belong to Choo Choo and Cha Cha. Please give them back. You already have so many dinosaurs and teddy bears of your own. Cusley wouldn't listen to his parents. He began to throw a tantrum. I want this teddy bear. I want this dinosaur. I won't go home without them. Cusley's parents were embarrassed by Cusley's behavior. Then Cusley's mother had an idea. All right, Cusley. Let's leave the toys here and go for a walk. If you still want them when we come back, we'll take them home. Cusley's parents took Cusley for a walk. They went into a neighborhood that Cusley had never been to before. He was very surprised to see how small the houses there were. Huh? The houses here are so small. Yes, Cusley. Why don't you look around? Cusley began to look around the neighborhood. He noticed the children who lived there didn't have nice clothes like he did. They also didn't have many toys. And the ones they did have were broken. Huh? Despite having so little, the children were sharing their toys with each other. Some of them were even giving away the only toys they had to their friends. My teddy bear's ear is torn, but he gives very good hugs. I'd like you to have him. Thank you. Mommy, look! That boy just gave away his teddy bear. Yes, Cusley. Wasn't that kind of him? He's giving away his things even though he has so little. Cusley, look how happy the children are. They don't have as many toys as you do, but they are still happy. They're also not being greedy by trying to take their friend's toys away like you were. Oh. Cusley began to realize how greedy he had been. You're right, Mom. You're right, Dad. I have many toys. I should be happy with them. Cusley asked his parents to take him back to Choo Choo and Cha Cha's house. Choo Choo and Cha Cha were waiting for Cusley. They had put the toys he wanted in a bag. Cusley, you can have my dinosaur. And you can have my teddy bear. Huh? Cusley felt ashamed. 
Choo Choo and Cha Cha were willing to give him their toys just to make him happy. Remembering the children he had seen in the neighborhood, Cusley decided not to be greedy. Thank you, Choo Choo and Cha Cha. But I already have many toys. I also just saw some kids with so little. So I'm going to share some of my toys with them. Wow, Cusley. That's very kind of you. Cusley went straight home and packed some of his toys. He took them to the neighborhood and gave them to the children. This is for you, and this is for you. Thank you. Thank you. Cusley's parents were very proud of him. And Cusley felt very happy, too. Good job, Cusley. You were very kind today. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Daddy. That day, Cusley realized how lucky he was. He had so many things that other children didn't have. And he decided to be grateful and happy with whatever he had. Yay! One day, a royal messenger came to the house. The king and queen have invited all the young ladies who live here to a ball tomorrow evening. Choo Choo and her friends were very excited. They were getting ready to have a picnic. I put chocolate milk, fruit, cake, sandwiches, and cookies all in the basket. One night, Cha Cha fell asleep thinking about a pet dinosaur. When Cha Cha woke up the next morning, there was a knock on the door. Huh? Cha Cha's father had a box. It was full of tools. The tools could fix anything. And so, Cha Cha called it Daddy's Magic Box. That's Daddy's Magic Box. <laughs> 